That just looks like poppin' bees. What? What's poppin' bees? What's poppin' bees? Welcome back to Beer Sounds. <laughs> Today, we are coming to you from the Vancouver Fairmont Hotel, a.k.a. The oh. Haunted Hotel. A.k.a. Top 10 Haunted Hotels in Vancouver. Burger King Foot it, Lettuce. Number one, Fairmont Hotel. We walked in and there were just like these weird paintings. Yeah, like candles. there was like hella weird paintings, hella yeah. weird candles over yeah. the place. Kind of spooky to be, if I can be completely frank with you this evening, I would say that it's quite spooky and off-putting. To be frank, I got disturbing ass pictures behind me. Oh, yeah, I don't know why they thought they would have been a good idea to hang that up. Yeah. But this place is haunted, guys. It's true. You know what the story is? What's the story? One time, three Asian dudes came to film a podcast. But one of them looked a little bit Latino for some reason. Two and a half, two and a half Asian. And I was like, <laughs> wait, how Asian is he really? Yeah. But then, you know what the story is? What's the story, bro? Their balls got gaped in the night. <laughs> Bro, I'm banking on that to happen. I would, uh, guys, <laughs> if one person's butthole doesn't get gaped, like, are we even boys? <laughs> like, are we even boys? Like, we're at a sleepover, Ooh. and if somebody's butthole doesn't get gaped, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you talking? No, I meant to from Safari. Guys, Bro. I don't know if the mic picked that up, but Derek opened his phone, Ooh. and you heard the clash of clans. No, it's Brawl Stars pussies. Okay, but we want to start off this episode of Beer Sauce with the Vancouver Fairmont spooky story we of an actual ghost tonight. explain this because i don't really know that much about this. realistically a motel six might actually be more haunted because people get killed in those yeah. and this is like a five-star like hotel. there's a louis vuitton downstairs like yeah. we <laughs> totally didn't use the uh the amenities before and go into the heated pool <laughs> we didn't do that <laughs> heated pool oh yeah. i kind of know a little bit about First it First, I, I read up on it in 13 i mean fuck yeah, bro. Hey, 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 you okay? Hey, you okay? Bro? That was very okay. scary. Dude, I'm a little bit like I read the things wrong sometimes, y'all. Not sorry, bro. He's In dyslexic. 1939, this elegant building is actually the third hotel of Vancouver. I, I don't get. I don't need. need I don't need to know your lore. No lie. Yeah, no lie. Just the hotel of Vancouver is haunted by a benevolent and elegantly dressed lady in red. She's often spotted on the 14th floor and is also seen in the ground floor lobby near the guest elevator doors. If you want us to go to the 14th floor vlog, you know where to go. Patreon. Patreon. We're going to be drinking. And ghost hunting. And ghost hunting. And, and it's going to be fire. And one of our asses is going to be gaped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Probably so, Nico's. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I feel like by he's the lady the in red. Capable. I'm just I'm just easily uh overpowered. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> when men go on the 14th floor, it's actually not allowed from hotel rules because there's a new gaping asshole. Uh a gaping asshole, uh, what's it called? What? The, the, this is the thing that goes on, okay? <laughs> Only women are allowed on there, apparently. The gaper. The gaper. The gaper She's yeah. also called the gaper in red. Jeez, man, yeah. that's actually haunting. She sometimes passes through elevator doors on and those floors butts. and glides along the hallways. <laughs> Your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Most intriguing is that the first and 14th floors are the only ones with elevator doors that lead to a dummy elevator shaft. Bum, shaft. Bum, bum. <laughs> The ghost has been seen passing through those this disused read locked it? doors. It's just warm, bro. I can read. I don't want y'all to think I'm. No, I can't read. Hey, yeah, you okay? You okay, bro? You okay, bro? You all fine? You touch my pillow? Yeah, you alright, bro? Where's you my right. dude? Stop! I can read. I know you can read, dude. The li bro. I'm just trying not to read it fast because I know some of y'all be watching it in two times. No, okay? I know. I get that. It's just for the courtesy. You don't know? forget yeah. the the ghost the of the lady Chinese dad. in red. <laughs> is also encountered in some of the guest rooms. Once, a Japanese family... I'm not even playing. Is that really Once, a Korean family that checked into a room on the 14th floor called the front desk to ask whether their room had been double-booked. They described seeing the lady in red in the room, which had caused their confusion. Right. Guys, I'm actually scared. <laughs> why, were they, why were they Korean? Dude, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know, bro. bro. They were yeah, just Korean, bro. Because it haunts Korean people. Yeah, especially. Uh, don't roll me into this. <laughs> No, but you are. I'll Korean, go back bro. to Chinese right now. <laughs> you'll, you'll convert. <laughs> Only when it's convenient for you. You'll yeah, convert. bro. In another incident, a bellman escorting guests into a fourteen into room fourteen oh three. We Which gotta is go there. The room we're in. Oh, right my now. God. 
saw the lady in red follow his guest through the door into the room. When he entered, the lady had vanished. Oh, shit. And their buttholes were bigger. No! (laughs) Fuck. More recently, disembodied footsteps and strange (laughs) sounds have been recorded by security cameras in a stairwell near the 14th floor. Some say the lady in red is the ghost of Jenny Pearl Cox. (laughs) What? (laughs) What a loser, bro. Her name was Cox. <laughs> she was a Vancouver was socialite who regularly attended the hotel's ballroom dances in the early fo- 1940s. Apparently, Dude, she what? took up eternal sick. residence in the hotel after dying in a car accident in 1944. Jeez, bro. Whether Fuck. she's the spirit of Mrs. Cox or not, the ghost is well known by the hotel staff. Miss Cox loved the party life Ms. so Cox hard. Well, here's what we're going to do. Her mama lived here. Here's what we're going to do. Let's cook. Everyone take turns and cook the shit out of her. Okay. So she spawns. Okay. Miss okay. Cox. She spawns. <laughs> Red is not your color, girl. You look <laughs> ugly. Miss oh, Cox. Miss Cox. Me. No lie. Nah, I'm trying to say something that's like not super politically incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I was like thinking of something really fat. bad. <laughs> Miss Cox. Your last name is stupid. You oh. stupid idiot. Come haunt me. Whoa, Come haunt him. Man. Don't haunt me as hard as you would haunt him. But my asshole's ready for you. What were you saying, did you know? What the fuck? What were you saying? Um, I was trying to think of an insult, but I can't think of one. You're pussying out. <laughs> oh, okay. Here. <laughs> right now, I have the worst insult right yeah, now. Yeah, you do. Miss Cox, I can't believe you died in a car crash. You could have chosen a cooler way to die. That's how my mom's sister oh. died, bro. <laughs> That's how my dad died, bro. No, your dad killed true, himself, bro. idiot. In a yeah. car. <laughs> Paul Walker. I thought he- <laughs> Will Smith's oh, husband. Dude. Okay, bro, you're switching up the story. Imagine <laughs> dying in a car crash. Learn how to drive, dumbass. This hotel's haunted by people who died in car crashes. Jesus Christ, Ooh. guys. Look around. <laughs> yeah, this is this is creepy vibes, y'all. What yeah. we got going I'm on actually, today. I'm actually got creepy creepy vibes going on. Like, okay. I just cooked a ghost. Well, we're going to add on to the creepy <laughs> vibes. Um, We got you guys to actually send us your paranormal and ghost stories. Ooh. And we're going to read a few of them right now. Ooh. This first one is called Paranormal Backshot Story. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Wait, that isn't is the this title. the one that... It, it's fine. the Lady in Red one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the add-on to the Lady in Red one. So I'm just going to read this out. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to go over. at this. Oh, my fault, gang. I'm trying to... Yeah. Yeah. So these are like long stories, guys. So like lock in. Like if you're like eating dinner or like going to sleep, like this is the purpose. If you're like, if you were in like a a a horny mood, maybe skip this episode because it's gonna be scary. Yeah. Also, no lie, I was screening a lot of these stories last night at two a.m. So scary. And I started bugging the dude because no, there was like there was like thank you guys for like all the submissions. By the way, you guys sent so many Mm -hmm. amazing stories. But don't I don't thank the um the person that submitted that black and white photo of like their grandma. Fuck that shit. That shit scared. scared I deleted that one because it was too scary. Wait, what? Um, like there was somebody that submitted a photo of like it was a black and white vintage like photo that was scratched up of an old woman yeah in like a movie theater i was like i can't it even read this so on the show it's scary. so scary that's horrifying um the picture re- was scary and it was like a picture i deleted the email oh, <laughs> I, like, my I, I cleared that shit from my computer you should, pull, you should we should pull that up i want to see but it. i was i was reading all of that's these probably real like 2 a.m last night and i started really fucking yeah. getting scared like i had to pee real yeah. bad last night but i waited till this morning yeah, so bro. <laughs> scary oh, triggers God. y'all um, scary trigger warning boys Settle in because this prompt is literally made for me. Whoa. I used to be an assistant for this lady who has a real estate agent here in the Dominican Republic. She's Yo, we have 63. a lot. Sorry. What's up? We just have a lot of like, um, like Hispanic viewers. Yeah, I bring them in. I'd be telling my family. Ah, yeah. They're all your boys. <laughs> yeah. You know him? <laughs> yeah, I know him. I like this. Is like, like me and him, like they went to preschool together. She's about 63. You're the one that short on gray him. hairs. Let's call her Cindy. Cindy. Because of the COVID lockdown, I moved in with Cindy for about two weeks because no one was allowed to travel after 12. Whoa. I'm assuming at PM or AM, sorry. I would help her with her I would help her with her computer and I would do things around the house like errands and cooking. Sadly, Cindy's husband passed away a couple of years ago and he was the love of her life. Let's call him David. Fuck you, David. What the I'm, trying the, I'm trying to trigger. What the fuck? I'm trying to trigger a paranormal activity. Cindy, Cindy's the goat. You know she was my nanny. You don't know that yet. Actually, we don't know that yet. She talked about him a lot since she didn't really have many friends or anything to do besides her work. There would be sometimes, fuck. 
there would be some times where I would walk into the kitchen and I would hear her from the balcony talking to herself. She would say stuff like, oh my God, David, you really did just all of this for me? Or you are such a good man, David. Just very nice things. Mm -hmm. And I thought that she was probably just reliv reliving her best moments with him or something. That's what I would be doing. That, mm -hmm. that all, I'm literally going to read this as a type, guys. That all until I was sleeping one night and I woke up to loud banging and slapping sounds. Oh. <laughs> Cindy was getting laid out. Oh my god! By the Back ghost shots. of David. Oh my god! It was coming from her room down the hallway, <laughs> and I went to the door to listen. Cindy was closely. tied up in BDSM what the fuck? shit, what the fuck and it sounded like she was getting that? absolutely <laughs> railed. And she kept <laughs> saying David's name. I swear to God, that's what the email. What was. the fuck kind of ghost story is this? I would hear her bed move, and there were clapping <laughs> sounds. Clapping. <laughs> <laughs> now she doesn't have a lot of friends, especially male ones named David. And there was no car or any sign of someone else being in the house. Well, how old was she again? 63. 63. She can still get down like And she's that. still getting clapped by a ghost? And there's no way she was making that many noises at the same time by herself. After two minutes, I heard a loud slap and a moan. And then went radio silence. Bro, bro, bro took made her come. No, bro Holy took shit. that 15 minute recharge. Yo, no, David made Cindy come from the <laughs> from the grave. I didn't want to get fired from my job for walking in on her. And I didn't want to confront her and see her naked. So I just went to sleep scared and confused. I woke up the next morning and there was no one else in the house. But mm. I could tell that someone was there because one of my Dr. Peppers that she doesn't drink was gone. Dude, and I'm addicted. I keep track. David, like, the fucking ghost took a doctor, railed his, wait, how, wait, what's the relation of this uh, woman to the, yeah, is that his mom? Mom or no, it's no, 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 mom. employer, employer, but he was just staying with her. So, so you're trying to tell me that she had a sneaky link with the ghost yeah. and the ghost took the she doctor. She was pepper. literally the same as always and just pretended like everything was normal. I felt too embarrassed to ask her about it. So I just let it go. A couple of days later, I found a rose toy in her drawer. <laughs> when I was organizing her socks, but that still left me confused. I eventually stopped working with her because I got a better job, but every time I think about it, it just weirds me out. What the fuck? I know it's not very spooky, but it gives me chills because it was real life for me, LOL. Love the podcast, and I think she was getting fucked by Poppin' Bees. What's Poppin' Bees? What's Poppin' Bees? Welcome back to Beer <laughs> Sauce. Was... My name is Nicholas Pazavat. D-R-I-K-Z-H-U, -E Dare Zoo, Scary Zoo. And today we are joined with Juno, Junpei, Junbo. It literally says that. Like he also says, "Much love from Zorin." Zorin, thank you for sending us for an he, easy intro. Zorin laid us up for that. So that here's my theory. Now mm -hmm. she was just a freak, but but maybe Zorin. Can I give you my take here? What if what if does she have complimentary Wi-Fi like this hotel does? Because I think that what if she was watching porn mm. with the speakers? But like, she was, oh, you think the slapping was? This I think it video? was. A, I think it was a porn that she was watching. Mm, but but didn't she? The, wasn't it like banging and like creaks? Like well, was dude, she just like simulating it? Yeah, yeah. She but, could have been humping a pillow and watching porn. I feel like a more likely scenario, like realistically, is it was like a sex dream with David. No, but then what? What added all those extra noises? <laughs> yeah, that she, was, was, she was just like having body convulsions. I guess the dream is so far because imagine this, right? You, mm -hmm. you, this is the love of your life. Yeah, yeah. And you're 60, <clears throat> and she dies. Yes, right. But you still like love them so much that your sex dreams are just purely about them. That's and, really in love, right? Mm -hmm. But David was a freak. So every time they would have sex, it would be like insane <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. So her yeah. dream was realistic to how their old sex life used to be, and it was just insane. What if? What if they shit. filmed themselves fucking and she was rewatching the video? Oh yeah, that's, people that's do that. Kind of a stretch, I feel like. But what about the Dr. Pepper, bro? Who took the Dr. Pepper? Because she doesn't drink Dr. Pepper. Yeah, exactly, that, bro. Huh? I didn't think about that, huh? Ooh. But also, a ghost can't even drink that shit. To be honest, I mean, dude. But a, what if ghost was just craving, bro? What if she was just craving? What if? Yeah, yeah, true. Dog, like, I think this would have been worth confronting her. No, just the the best way to do it is, oh hey, I noticed you took one of my Dr. Peppers. You like Dr. Pepper now? Because that is a subtle confrontation mm -hmm. about true, the event of true, that yeah. night. And she was, what if she was like, oh no, just one of my, one of my sneaky links was over. He just wanted to take one. Also, it could be a sneaky link. Could have yeah. totally been a sneaky link. Oh, but, and she was like, be my dead husband. Yeah. Like there's people with like no friends that have high body counts. It's like, yeah. Where do you think they're meeting those people? And then maybe she, like the sex was so good that she was like, I need to have a drink. 
And the only drink was the Dr. Pepper. Because sometimes I want a soda. Like, but it's out of character Afterwards. for me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, but it would be out of character for me to just drink a soda. But, like, you ever just get in that mood? I always want a banana. But no, but, like... What? Bro wants a banana after fucking. You want a banana you after fucking, bro? You know banana. what that means? That means you're gay. <laughs> yeah, just, bro no, wants a banana popsicle and sausage after there's fucking. There's two guys. The, guys, guys, I, guys don't want bananas banana. and guys want soda. You're a banana guy? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, All we're right. going to go to the next story, you know. I'm going okay, okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm to pretend I forgot it. Yeah. Final know. conclusion. Yeah. Uh, sneaky link. Sneaky link. Or yeah. I, I do like the um the porno theory. I like the porno theory. Like the like the like the self tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like she could have put it on a VHS. True. Surely. Okay. And maybe they had a little thing where it was like, every time we watch this, we have to drink Dr Pepper. But then it was like a rule. It was a rule, and she's still honoring it. That's a really in love woman. No matter what, I think we can all agree that woman's really in love. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of yeah. a sweet story. It actually end. is. Okay. Crazy title though. Beer Back sauce. Up. Thanks for opening up your email for something like this. I tell this story at parties and it freaks everyone the <gasps> fuck out. <gasps> I'm the ghost child of my family. Don't believe Whoa. me? Just wait. Why are you making him sound like a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> my fault. Yo, whoever this was, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to preface by saying that I have no recollection of this moment. This story is secondhand from my mommy. Oh. Who had this experience with me? Did he say mommy? No, I just added that <laughs> in to make him look more no, like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, I shared a bedroom with my mommy and two brothers. And my blow was <laughs> my blow and my stuffy. We had two bunk beds that were on different walls, and we all slept in one bed each. When I was about nine or ten, my mom worked for Best Buy and she had super late closing shifts. Usually, by the time she got home, I was sound asleep in my bed. One night, however, she came home real late. My brothers and I were asleep. And so she did. Sorry, pardon me, chat. My brothers and I were asleep. And so she did what she always did. She went into the walk-in closet to change so she could sleep. What? Okay. Okay, I understand, sir. On this evening, my mom had the closet door cracked open. Oh God, he saw her. he saw his yeah. mom's titties. Oh my God, he oh, was God. he was in the closet. <laughs> she says that she suddenly she says that suddenly she felt like she was being watched, obviously disturbed. She turned around and looked through the crack of the door. There I was, <laughs> sitting completely upright in the bottom bed near the door, jerking my sharing at mommy. her. The area around me was pitch black, despite our apartment floodlights shining through the windows from outside. What? She said, Dude, this is everything good. okay? I nodded. Mm-hmm. She describes my eyes as having nobody behind them, oh. as though I were awake, but not really present. That's fucking She creepy. continued, are you sure? I said nothing. She said, okay, go back to sleep. I then laid down. Never taking my eyes off of her. <laughs> Bro, you, you just wanted to watch your mom change, you fucking creep. Bro, just his family strokes. Oh. <laughs> You're just a creep. <laughs> it was going good until the end. <laughs> Once. And then, dude, white <laughs> stuff was all over my sheets. <laughs> I then laid down and never taking my eyes off of her. The oh. darkness still around me. Dude, I like this one. It's like written pretty like dramatically. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Once my head hit the pillow, I turned over and went back to sleep. She often recounts that she could see one of my eyes and that the rest of my face was completely shrouded in black. What? And that's it. If you're ever interested in the sequel to the story, because this happened once again when we all moved into a new house, <laughs> let me know and I'll follow up. Why, is, why are they teasing like a second half? Yeah. It's on the Patreon. <laughs> the Dude, it's on his Patreon. Yeah, I don't even like. <laughs> First of all, I will like, say it's bro, like, it's just nasty. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, kind of, I have nothing to say about this. Kind story. of freaky by the end, but it's also like I feel like it's so specifically strange. Some it's that. very well written. I'll say yeah, that. Yeah, but some of it's so strange, like the light being in, but it's all dark. That's but like kind of. It, yeah, it's it, very, this person's even a very talented yeah. writer when it comes to visual imaging. It's very vivid, you know? mm. but it's like you're just gross, bro. Yeah, we should <laughs> yeah. talk about this. Yeah. Do we believe in ghosts? Um, before like any of these stories like i don't think ghosts are real i my my take is i don't i don't the the same i honestly view ghosts as like as i view religion i can't prove it's real i can't prove it's not real but also i do want to say something 
an idea that we had today for today's episode was to bring a Ouija board in mm. and Derek wouldn't okay. do it. So I do think to a certain extent, you believe a little bit in ghosts. It just scares me. Yeah, but, but it's like, it's like, okay, no, I, no, I see what you mean. Yeah. Cause like, it's like, we, we chose not to bring a Ouija board in because number one for audio listeners, that'd be the most boring shit ever. Yeah. And also number two, um, like I just don't like, I don't believe in ghosts, but I also don't want to fuck with like, that's like the undisturbed. Not ghost, it's like demonic kind of. Like, yeah. Like I just don't like want to fuck with like, I don't want to mm. fuck with it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like what, what's the point of fucking with it? Yeah. For me, it's, yeah, I, I don't believe in ghosts. I want to rationally say ghosts aren't real, yeah. but that's my rational brain. But when it comes to actually emotional brain, <laughs> bro, that shit scares me. Like <laughs> well, I get yeah. scared. Yeah. Like it's actually scary. So like. I believe in ghosts to a certain a certain extent, mm -hmm. um, but I just I like like uh, yeah to a certain extent yes. But yeah. the reason we're like dismissing all of your experiences because like rationally like you just want to see your mom's titties, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually I, I feel like I don't believe in them, but I, like I wouldn't be surprised if they're real. <laughs> you wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be that surprised. I feel like it's like a possible thing. But then the question, it, it's so much bigger than do you believe in ghosts and then mm -hmm. it's like the afterlife. afterlife yeah. And then if yeah. there's afterlife, uh, yeah. then there's so much like God question mark. Yeah, I think I think um, like it, it's very interesting that I think at least almost everybody on the planet of the fucking earth has some sort of weird ghost experience or has heard a weird ghost experience mm -hmm. from somebody they know. Yes. You know, like we all have some weird experience or have heard experience in it. So that's also interesting. It's very much in the public consciousness mm -hmm. or the collective consciousness, I'd like to say. You should look at the pictures around. Yeah, I don't it's want to. It's kind of freaking me no, out. Like, I don't, I don't want to. It's really disturbing. Okay, okay. I'm going to find, a, well, find theories, another good story. Theories. And yeah. if, if we theory. did a Ouija board, I'd actually fucking be horrified. Like, I no, don't think I, I could sleep. And I, I would be, like, the next few days, I'd be in super uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And then I would hear, like, one, like, footstep, but I'd be like, it's over. Real Ouija boards, like, the they're, like, carved. And they're, like, old. Like, I don't know. There's, like, yeah, actual like, Ouija actually board. I think those carved. ones are, like, the... I wouldn't bad. fuck with yeah, those. No, those. Like, that's... Fucked. I would not do that, no, bro. No, I'm not... Yeah. I'm not buying a Ouija board from a witch and then doing it with my bros. No, or, yeah. like, the same thing with dolls as well. Like, I don't... Like, I just find dolls creepy in general, but, like, the yeah. whole haunted factor makes me more stressed out, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't even go to, like, a, a haunted house. You wouldn't? Well, we went... We actually... Last year, we went to the PNE, and that was really fun. I don't no, really I'm think. not talking about like, like I'm not actual, talking about haunted house. I'm yeah, talking about yeah. like actual like this house is haunted. We're in a haunted place right now, dude. There's a Gucci downstairs. You know, <laughs> yeah. like if there wasn't a Dior That's like true. five <laughs> meters from me, I'd probably be more scared. Yeah, but That's if we like point. went to like I don't know a site of like a haunting or something, mm -hmm. and like how BuzzFeed Unsolved does it, I would actually be terrified. Like mm -hmm. an abandoned place. Yeah, in the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like a graveyard at nighttime. I oh, was just like, no. don't. I just don't want to fuck with it. I think with those places, there's like bad energy because there's just things that have happened and like, yeah, it's just old. Yeah, I don't know. There's like, but I feel like, would we be scared if we didn't like have movies and stuff? Uh, like you draw me as a five year old with no media or anything. Am I scared of a grave? Ah, actually, no, I was scared of the dark. Never mind. Yeah, I was scared of the dark. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah dude. I'm like, dude. I'm still scared of the dark. Yeah, I'm 22 years old. I'm still fucking Canadians scared of the dark. are scared of the dark. No, but it's like, why? Like, like we're grown men, bro. Like, why are we still scared of the dark? Because it's scary, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if you looked outside your window at night and you just like you visually like you think you see something. No, even even like. Like, like Derek sleeps with the nightlight on. No, I don't. Sorry to out you. I he don't. With a, we watch long legs and you slept with the nightlight on. For like one night. <laughs> and the movie was scary. <laughs> one night longer than me, for, bro. For like a long well, time you're... in high school, like I would always have a computer light on because I didn't want to sleep in like pitch black. I mean, that's not, I don't think that's that bad. Yeah. I don't think creepy. not wanting to sleep in pitch black isn't bad or anything. No, pitch because pitch black is fucking what would, freaky. What would you feel if you slept in pitch black though? Um, like, now, I sleep in pitch black now. Yeah, now I do. But uh -huh. like, I think back then I, I would just be horrified. <laughs> like it was actually actively scary. Yeah, I just have like a thing with like in dark spaces. Like I, I feel like my mind always jumps to like I, I think I'm seeing things and I like psych myself out. Mm -hmm. I do that after I watch like something scary. But if I'm just raw, like no mm -hmm. scary media in the last two weeks, then I'm good. Then you're Even fine. when I was a kid. Yeah. No, because I used to freak. What I what I used to do when I was a kid is I would freak myself out into like yeah, creating these do. weird creatures in my head. Yeah. And then I'd be like, holy shit, it's going to fucking come haunt me. Yeah. The more you think about it, it starts. Or like building. Coraline. I watched Coraline yeah, when I was a kid. Bad mistake. Yeah, that movie, creepy. I'm getting hot. Too. I'm getting hot. Are you hot, you know? Warm, yeah. Bro. I don't know. We just did that for like the vibes. The vibes with the vibes. But we still have a couple stories to read. <laughs> we yeah, do. But yeah. we're doing them. Oh my God. He's wearing white. Juno. Wait, I have a jersey. 
the vibes, bro. It's fine, bro. I actually never watched Coraline. No, you sh- yeah, you shouldn't. As even, an adult, even as an adult, it's too scary, dude. I but if you're scared Coraline. of like Coraline as an adult, you're like the world's biggest bitch, right? <laughs> it's not that. It's not scary. Yeah, I just adult. remember it being so. I have such vivid memories of that movie for some reason. It being like so scary. I don't know what it was. I was just so freaked. Yeah, because you were a like, child when I was three. My parents took me to watch Tom and Jerry in 3D, yeah. and that was the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Mm. You don't want to. No kid wants to see Tom. Tom in 3D. Tom is scary, He's bro. a 2D character. We yeah. don't want to see him brought to life. No. Yeah, yeah. That's like yeah. seeing Juno naked, bro. <laughs> Leave that yeah. shit at like, home, bro. Are <laughs> 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 you okay with see- seeing Nico naked? Well, I'm used to it now. That's true. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, fun fact, Nico used to chase Juno and I around. <laughs> with I mean, this schlong <laughs> yeah bro, can in I, my basement that's a scary story that's a that's ghost a scary, yeah. that's, a, all, that's my no, ghost I, story, dude, I was possessed i was possessed yeah. i get easily dude, possessed bro, guys. actually yeah, i saw like you and your, your face was dark yeah your penis yeah. was dark too i mean darker than the rest of my body for no, no, sure. no 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 yeah. that's that's normal yeah <laughs> i mean you're you know your your yeah. penis obviously isn't the same color as you right um it's a bit darker than your body i'm assuming i don't know i guess so you yeah. guess so. What do you mean? Yeah. You guess so. I know for sure without a doubt in my mind. I gotta do a skin complexion comparison. Soon. You don't. Dude, You're not. You don't know. Why are you lying? Juno, yeah. we know you know, bro. Just say it, bro. I'm. At, I actually don't know. I'm. Are you serious? Do you, yeah. Do you never look at your own, dude? It literally not. It like my penis is just straight up darker dude, compared to the rest of my skin. If I showed you, I think mine's the same as like most of my body. To be honest, guys, you're not a real Asian, dude, bro. You're not. Yeah. No, you're not a real. I, I'll go check. You're not a real person. <laughs> yeah, like, like <laughs> hell, fuck. I'll go check. And he's probably gonna say, "Guess what?" He's gonna say, "Dude, my balls are the same size. <laughs> they <laughs> and, hang the and, same, and, and, and they're at the same length. Like yeah. one's not lower than the uh, other like, one." <laughs> dude, I, I I can check. I'll check after this. Okay, thanks. And then we, we do appreciate. Okay, that, I'm gonna yeah. leak one last thing. Yeah. If you like to look at a dick pic of mine, yeah, it looks like mine. It looks worse. What do you mean? Like, Something about the iPhone camera makes it darker than it is. Like, I look like my dick is... Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no it, See, I, 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 don't, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know. I think the, it, the the certain lighting of the camera, I was just the, the way I, iPhone, iPhone cameras are so bad, bro. Yeah. Like an iPhone yeah. camera in Dude, selfie mode is notoriously is, shit. Yeah, but I don't think they make your penis... Gabagoo. Okay, okay. I have another scary story Ooh. here. I have another spooky story ready Ooh. to go. Ooh. Ooh. Well, this one, this one starts off strong, guys. It happened to me when I was a kid oh, in Costa Rica. Dramatic. Why did all these from like <laughs> like Southern America or Latin? Because America? these are my boys, bro. These are all Nico's friends, bro. There's no Asian people that get at haunted. the time. I lived Asian with my grandma, and there was this old house in front of mine, in front of mine of my grandma's neighbors. They were old, normal people. One afternoon, while I was playing in my uncle's room, I noticed a small doll. With a lot of hair sitting oh, on a swing on the porch that's of that house that's through a window. She was looking to the north. She was looking to the side. And also the swing was moving back and forth, even though it wasn't windy. I was curious. So I got on the bed and that was next to the window and looked closer. As I did, I realized that the doll stopped swinging. And when it did, the it that sorry i'm gonna translate this as as i did i realized that the doll stopped swinging and as it stopped swinging it looked at me very promptly almost like its neck broke <laughs> as it sorry, fuck you bro <laughs> no like internally i was freaking out but like i'm not gonna show it <laughs> dude this is already as like it turned one. to the state as it turned to stare at me from the porch the doll had these big eyes and i could swear it smiled at me with its dirty fucking hair. I shit my pants and went to tell my mom and my grandma crying, but they dismissed it. Did you actually shit your pants? And told me that it was impossible because the neighbors don't even have any children. They They had a little girl years before I was born, but she died a few months ago and never, oh, but she died after a few months and never got to be old enough to even play with that doll. I tried to never look at that house again at night, and I'll never forget how those eyes seem to follow me. Wow, Fabi Arias. Yo, Fabi. Fabi Arias. Fabi cool Arias. Arias? Crazy name, bro. <laughs> You're supposed to conquer a country right now, Fabi. Fabi Arias. <laughs> That's like two words that don't exist. Fabi Arias at all. is the name of a future leader, guys. Yeah, yeah. no, Arias. a past leader <laughs> that killed like thousands of people. It sounds like oh, a shit, actually. But yeah, that, that was like a classic ghost story. It was written like a classic. I feel one. like why was the swing moving first off, bro? Fabi, I don't trust your judgment, Fabi. 
I'm, thank you for sending this in, but the fuck? What? yeah, yeah. Will you explain it? Tell well, me, I, tell I, me well, what happened. I don't know. Sometimes, what if it was just a what if the what if the what if the dead girl took over that doll because she wanted to play with the doll, but she was never old enough. She died too soon. This what if her spirit took over that doll and wanted to play with Fabi? Fabi. Did he actually shit himself? Like I, I'm assuming. Of... I'm assuming the word like shitting of the self was a uh, mm-hmm. was a metaphorical. Because right? if you do actually shit yourself, you're not in the like the right space. Yeah, it's like holy shit! I just shit myself. Yeah. Like I gotta go like take care of that. Mm, like mm-hmm. doll or not. Shitting yourself would make you imagine things. In my head, that would happen. Like, I'd be yeah, freaking out. I would be traumatized if I shit myself right now. Well, I don't think... I have a story from when I was four. Yeah. And, like, it's just outlandish, but I would say... R- right now? Or- yeah, give it to me. Yeah. Well, so, when I was four... When I was four. And I lived in Costa Rica, because I have to be in Latin for America the, for, for, the, for, the the story. for the sake of the story. <laughs> and my mom and I lived in a one-bedroom apartment and did y'all have to sleep in the same bed we did damn mm-hmm. and when that. she was changing i would just stare at her <laughs> and beat my uh, four-year-old shit to her so one time i was fighting with my mom when i was four because mm. is that normal like that's no. so young to be fighting with my mom yeah what were you we like, arguing about yeah were you like yelling at her was it i don't remember was it a real argument I think I was just like, I want to play with Transformers. I, I want to go to I would get yelled at when I was four, but I could never yell back. It's child abuse, bro. I think I was just yeah, crying. That's what it is. <laughs> but, damn, bro. Yeah, fuck. And then that, that's a real ghost story. <laughs> I looked out the window because I saw a glimpse of something, and it was a giant pumpkin man outside my fourth story apartment window. And I cried to my mom. And for the next like year, I made my mom fall asleep after me, even though she just did a nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> because I was so scared the pumpkin man would come back, and I swore all my life this was real. Like you, like you, like 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 I saw it. But then again, like in my head, I actually saw it. Like I will say you, I'll tell you right now, I saw it. Yeah. But it was probably just my four year old self imagining something. I mean, yeah, the pumpkin man, the pumpkin man. I'm it try- was like I'm a trying pumpkin. To, what did it look like? His head was a pumpkin. And his body was like a black body. But then. <laughs> He like floated up like a balloon. Oh, he like floated up, and I saw him for two seconds. I mean, I mean, the thing is, is like that could have totally just been like, as an example, I don't know, literally somebody like letting go of a balloon for some reason in the middle of the fucking night. Mm. But then maybe your four year old self projected like, oh my god, it's a fucking scary mm. pumpkin man. You know yeah. what I mean? Or like a bird, or it was like a scarecrow. Someone's it, it could have, or, or it could have like it, that. It could have just it probably wasn't a pumpkin man, but it could have been like something. There what, and what, then you were like, "Oh my god, it's a fucking scary." Pumpkin. Someone's in a comment, be like, "Oh my god, was this? Do you know? Do you it know? was October, yeah. I think." Okay, it's okay. so probably that. It was probably a theory, a, a real pumpkin man, <laughs> like a Ooh, pumpkin. Dude someone's in a comment, costume. be like, "Oh my god, I have slutty I actually, pumpkin." Yeah, it was the slutty. It was pumpkin. the slutty pumpkin. Yeah, now I think about it. it she had her boobs out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Someone's gonna be like, oh my god, I totally let go of my balloon. All these ghosts are just like freak stories by the end. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So my point is. Yeah. Also, maybe it wasn't October. Maybe it was like May. Mm-hmm. But I could t- understand that I could have just made it up. Yeah. Yeah, but you still believe it happened, right? Or you don't believe it happened, but you believe what you saw. You know, you believe in your four-year-old self did, and what he saw. Did it haunt you for a bit after? Yeah, I was so scared for so long. Are you get triggered by pumpkins now? Yeah, that's why like, I always avoid. Like, what, what, what is the last thing we did on Halloween? We don't do Halloween. Why do you think I always dip out on Halloween, bro? Guys, he always has <laughs> vacation with his mom in Halloween. Yeah, why like, do you think I always bro? dip out? from the pumpkin man? You're exactly. Pumpkin Jesus, it's, it's, it's chasing you, bro. But as my point is, I could have just made that shit up. Because I was, I was in the heat of the moment fighting with my mom. Jesus, man. So my point is, Fabio. Fabi. Fabi. Why don't you have an O? <laughs> That's, I don't know. Just to just to like it just, it just edges like everyone. Fabi has more spice because you expect it to be Fabio, but it's just mm, Fabi. 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 Yeah, but Fabi. that's like everyone's gonna think you just shortened it. Yeah. Well, you that's just, okay. Well, fuck. Like, is anyone actually named Nico? Oh, actually, yeah, they are. Why are yeah, you dogging are. on Fabi, bro? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's, he's a I, boy. <laughs> I, I, I I just relived a moment. Yeah. And yeah. I think I'm. I think I resent you for bringing that moment back up, Fabi. I'm, I'm no, Fabi. We love you, Fabi. We love you, though, dude. Fabi that was actually scary though. No, that was. I creepy. got chills. The the doll. I don't. I, anything with dolls, I don't fuck with. Okay, we're gonna do. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. Okay. Yeah, that one's scary as fuck. This is our final one. This is a final story that we have. 
Uh, this was a little bit of a longer one, so everybody lock in. Sorry everybody for cooking in. you, Fabi. No, Fabi, we, Fabi, we love you, bro. That was long. Yeah, that, Fabi, thank that you for thank you for sending that in. I'm sorry about my boy. He was just traumatized. He's traumatized, bro. That's also late. Yeah, I get angry at night. It's 11:32 p.m., but I get it. The pumpkin. That's late. That's late. That's, late. that's when the that's, that's when, when he appeared. It's pumpkin, yeah, it's it was around like it's nine. Pumpkin hour. Mm. Hey guys. Mm. This was the most intense paranormal experience that I had living in my friend's childhood home. A good friend of mine moved back into his childhood home and I decided to move in and be his roommate. In Costa Rica? The two of us, yeah. (laughs) The two of us would host dinner parties, ragers, and had a good time living with each other. Oh, yeah. But that's the only bright side of this story. Oh. My friend, unfortunately, was abused as a child. In fact, it was so bad that he actu- that he's actually in prison for murdering his own father. Oh, oh my gosh. This abusive Gipsy. upbringing led to some dark energies, making his childhood house its home. Making his childhood house its home. One night, I was hanging out with my roommate and a mutual friend of ours, and we were, li- were in the living room listening to music and shooting the shit. What's After that? some time, just shooting just the like shit. Like, fun. Just <laughs> we're shooting shit. the shit, bro. We're gonna oh, play. dude, stop shooting my shit. We're shooting bro. the shit right okay, now. Okay. That's shooting the shit. Um, After some time, I had a creepy feeling and sensation. Like something was standing behind me and looking over my shoulder. I shrugged it off at first as anxiety. And I tried not to think too much about it. But the feeling got stronger. And the air got thicker. Then I felt a prick on my calf. And from that prick, a strong heat began to radiate and spread over my entire body. I began to panic and my heartbeat was racing. I told my friends who stood up and felt my chest and could feel how my heart pounded. They felt my racing heartbeat. We heard something fall in the back bedroom across the Mm. house. Bear in mind, every person in this house was in the room with me. So there was no one home to drop anything. We got up and walked to the back bedroom, and there were several books that were thrown off a shelf onto the ground. Oh. The three of us were confused as how to, how this happened. All of a sudden, it felt like something started to take over my body. <laughs> like I was losing control of myself, and something looked outside of me began to take the wheel. I tried to fight back and regain control, but it was too strong. And it shoved me down Whoa. and felt like I was drowning. Whoa. As I fought this internal battle, my friend noticed that I was extremely pale and sweating and asked if I was okay. I looked at him and responded in tongues with a voice that was not my own. It was deep. Is that tongues? Dark <laughs> and raspy. <laughs> That's what it sounds at, like. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Fuck. At the will of my invader of my body. At the will of the invader, my body moved across the room and my backside slammed against the wall with my arms and legs spread open as I <laughs> oh, no. as oh, I no. continued I screaming in open. tongues. At this point, I what thought all tongues? hope was lost and that I would never regain control over my own body. Then my friend, recognizing what was happening, grabbed the Bible and began reciting Psalm 91. To cast out whatever it was oh. that was inside of me. Okay, now that the now we know what to do. gave me the strength to pull myself out of the deep and wrangle my body, wrangle back control of myself from the entity. After an immense struggle, I was back in control of my own body and forever scarred by this experience. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, man, it's pretty traumatizing. Fuck. That one's no intense. way. <laughs> what do you mean, no way, bro? Way. First of all, if that's not fiction and that experience happened to him, like it's not very explainable, you know? Yeah. Like, what's the explanation yeah. to that? If he's got his legs spread open, yeah. What was the leg spread open part? Like, what I know. Was I the think. I goal? think. I think a demon tried to take over his body, and he like bro had to literally exercise the demon out of his body. Yeah. Hmm. That's crazy. That's like a full exorcism that just occurred in yeah. that story. Yeah. Like a Bible verse being read. Is there like any real confirmed actual exorcisms that have happened on people? Yeah, there's yeah there are. There's like cases. I'm pretty sure. Really, it's what they con- you know the Conjuring movies. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're Holy based, shit. They're, they're, they're based, based on, they're based real, on real cases. Really? Like exorcisms. Dude, didn't Derek watch The Country and freak out when he was a little kid? That was insidious. Oh, yeah, shit. Insidious. That was insidious. My childhood best friend made me. I'm, I'm saying made me because, like, okay, technically I could have walked away, but I'm yeah, not going to do like, that. like, no lie. You got peer pressure into doing Like, it. we're in a sleepover, and he's like, we have to watch this movie. I'm like, can I just watch, like, I don't know, Paw Patrol? And he was like, no. Yeah. You have to watch Insidious. And that shit scared the fuck out of me for, like, so like years like i was like seven yeah. and i had nightmares about that for like a week like i remember the next day i had to go on a roblox egg hunt yeah and i just like was so scared i couldn't go because i didn't even want to move wow holy it's shit got the demonic never... red guy yes yeah. the demonic red guy because i've never watched that movie just because i know it'll fuck me up even now as a grown man it's probably i was scary. a kid so like you should rewatch it and face your demons, bro. Yeah, we yeah. should rewatch it. I mean, I don't think it would be as scary because, you know, this was three years after I got scared from Tom. So I yeah. wasn't really leveled up. I mean, do you guys even watch horror movies now? I know we we all went to the theater to watch. Um, We watched Long Legs, Long but we legs. also watched, what was that one? Immaculate, uh, which was like know. a horror yeah. movie. It was like, okay. I like horror movies now. I, I watched Talk to Me. That was good. Talk to Me is good? Oh, yeah. You were talking about Talk to Me, right? You want to talk to me? I haven't. I haven't seen a horror movie in a while. The last one, like, have you guys seen Hereditary? <laughs> No, no. And we talked about last that. episode. I don't fuck with that. That one's horrible. Like that one disturbed me for a while, and that was like two years ago. Jesus Christ! I watched it in my room in the dark, and mm. well, that, like, that's oh, your problem. I watched. I watched us at two a.m. by myself. That was a mistake. That, that was one's a not that scary though. Us, no, it was the movie's kind of ridiculous, bro. No, it's but, ridiculous, yeah. but it's like it's two a.m. in the dark by yourself, yeah. pitch black. You, would, I think you'd be really scared. But Hereditary is like all about like the seeing things in the dark. Like you can like see like shapes. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, because interesting. Cause, yeah, like I'm not gonna. I'm not ever gonna watch. I it wanted to watch Hereditary for a long time, especially when I used to live. Well, my uncle and my cousin lived with me for like a year. Yeah, that was like peak time to watch because it. there were so many people in my house. Like, if something scary did happen, they I were gonna go. Yeah, yeah, right. And no, it was the summer. Yeah, it was bright outside. I've lost my chance. My mom's moving out. I'm gonna yeah, live alone. Can't do it anymore. Get this shit away from me. Because <laughs> <laughs> then now, if, if, when I live alone. And I get scared from something, even like a TikTok. I'm cooked. Yeah, yeah. There's no safety of my mommy's upstairs. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call the bros. <laughs> You're gonna have to fall asleep with me on Facetime. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call the bros. Like, damn. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't watch too many horror movies. I get. I understand. It's like, oh, jump scare. It's fun. Like, I get it. But I'm not. I do not want to participate. Yeah. You know what? It's not scary. What's up? I don't know if this. Is ho- I mean, I guess it's horror, but it's not. I'm scared of the ghosts and stuff, but yeah. Midsummer isn't really scary. I didn't watch it. Good. I thought it, I, I heard it was like okay. It's not scary. It's it. the same director. Oh, it's really? Hereditary, but it's not. Yes, I don't. I didn't think it was that scary compared to Harris. Yeah. I think if you watch Midsummer, sorry, I'm gonna cook somebody all right. Well, I don't know how many people agree with this, but I think if you watch Midsummer and you like write in your letterbox review like, "Wow, I'm traumatized," it's like. Dude, go get some real trauma, loser. <laughs> like midsummer, really, dude. Go get yelled at by your parents, bro. Yeah, like go get yelled at. Go get like hit by your mom. I feel like that movie more <laughs> shocking than it's scary. There's like disturbing stuff that's not very yeah. scary. in midsummer. Yeah, yeah. There's like violence. There's like there's a lot of violent scenes. Mm. I don't think it's really creepy. Well, back to the story. Yeah, here's why I was like, did that really happen? Is because of the religion thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, did you really read? Did your boy just know to read Psalm 41? <laughs> that's, that's how you know that's your boy. That's, that's how that's you know true. that's I your boy. That. He, but, dude, that guy was like, he was on it. Yeah, but he, what like, if saved him? What if he read Psalm 51 and it was like, never be gay? <laughs> then it, it would be over for you, right? Props to the friend, though. Props to the friend what for knowing. What, what, would maybe, you guys, maybe, what would you guys do if this happened? Like, let's say right now. Yeah. Okay, we're all here. Nico's gets his arms get start getting control. He gets spread open Back on the no. on the on the bed. What Y'all do we would do? Just, I would think I I wouldn't blame you guys if you ran. I'm, I'm grabbing the camera. Oh yeah. I yeah. would have to take a selfie with you. <laughs> well, it depends. Like, are it's we terrible. talking about you're actually just floating, or are you just like? I think I'm floating, floating, floating. Because if you were just like sprawling out, being weird, I'd be like, "What the fuck are you doing, dumbass?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. But if you actually got like legs open on the wall. We would need to get it on video. Yeah, I would film it right away, mm-hmm. and then I'd upload I, that shit to YouTube. I'd pro- yeah, I'd probably be like, er, yeah, I'd probably upload that to YouTube. <laughs> the thing is, nobody would believe us. People would be like, "Wow, Nico's so silly for this." I don't know how they did it, but like, their budget must <laughs> yeah, be high. Good CGI, yeah, probably. Y'all. I yeah. might just start punching you, bro. What? It's not. I don't actually, know. Yeah, I don't think it would be actually, anything it, worse. It, if it I was actually floating. depends on how it starts escalating. Like, if Nico starts like babbling demonically, then I'm. 
Running. Like in Jonah Hill and like this is the end. Yeah. And my voice turns fucking different. Yeah, yeah. no. Now I'm running. Yeah, yeah, I would fucking run, yeah. lock the door behind you. Yeah. And then yeah, like yeah. I might call the I don't know what I would I would do. I might call the well, police. Well, I, I I the thing is I I, I respect you doing that. Like yeah. I would hope you would fucking run because if a demon took me over, I would kill both of you guys. Like in an instant. But yeah. would you though? If I was a demon? If a demon took over my body. That's usually where it leads. Fuck it y'all usually up, goes right? to murder. But you're saying that you could kill me. If a demon took over my body, Dude, yeah, wouldn't but you be, wouldn't it wouldn't be Niku anymore. It would what, be so a, you get stronger. If a demon takes over my body, but, yes, bro. But why do you have to get strong? Like, if he really <laughs> wanted to kill somebody, why would he take you then? So you realistically, you I'm the so prime so murderer, <laughs> bro. Once it, you uh, know old demons, do you hear this shit? Do you hear this shit, demons? Like, if you get possessed, like we could jump you. Okay. I don't think so. I think he would fuck us up as a demon. I think if a demon no, took over bro. my body, I would literally have magic powers, bro. <laughs> not, not you, but you wouldn't get me. Okay, I'm, sure. I'm bro. saying, this Lady is, in this, Red. This has turned to a whole different <laughs> Lady in Red. Now. If you want me to kill some people, I'm your guy. This has turned to whether Derek can beat a demon. <laughs> I death could. or not. <laughs> I could, especially when they start haunting like four year old girls in white dresses. Like, really? You really think I'm going to lose a yeah, uh, four year old yeah, girl? Yeah, true. He's round I get that actually. I get that actually yeah. a lot. So, okay. But you, as a demon, I'm going. Dude, you yeah. don't think we could jump him? No, <laughs> he has parkour and you've seen me do a front yeah. flip, bro. I have, you probably get naked. Dude, and my dick would be, oh, I would have shit. a demon dick. Oh, dick I would like, demon dick you down, bro. Dick would like helicoptering or yeah. something. What would you do if he grabbed me and started butt fucking me? <laughs> but I was like, Juno, please don't leave. <laughs> Yo. I was, so, like, I was like, Juno, as, please, don't leave, please, please don't leave. As you're being fucked? <laughs> like, what would you actually do? If, okay, if you start getting dicked down by Nico as a demon. I love when Derek throws these hypotheticals at me. <laughs> it just makes no sense. Yeah, no, I genuinely think for like the first minute, I'd be like la- dying laughing. <laughs> you wouldn't, but it would be clear he's actually possessed. You wouldn't help me. No, I'd be like, I'd be like pointing. Bro, we do like, the panorama that he's been doing all day. Up, <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked up. But then after a minute, if, it, if it's like, because I think it would be like a joke. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. think he'd be butt fucking me as a joke? <laughs> yeah. All yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, let's go pee, guys. <laughs> so, guys, took me down uh, we're a little bit concerned because there's is a two bedroom hotel, obviously, and the bed that Juno is sleeping. So, so Juno's sleeping on one bed. I'm sleeping on another bed. And then I'm Derek, sleeping on the ground. Derek, but why? Why? Because. Yeah. Because we're not making you do this. No, you're not. But yeah. I understand the principle. So here's the thing. I don't want to sleep in another do- uh, in bed with another guy. Yeah, I, I personally don't. I don't want to do it. But I also don't like I'll, I'll do it if I have to. You know what I mean? I, I just like I wouldn't even like share socks with you. There's something about your feet because you're going to sleep with socks off, right? If it depending on the heat. Yeah, OK, I guess I would. OK, so I'm going to sleep with socks off, too. But there's something about like. You're unconscious when you sleep. What if you flip over and I flip over and we open our eyes and we just look at each other and our feet are intertwined? Our toes are intertwined. Like the grippers? Yeah. And like the toes are, like, are, are combined like this. Yes. That'd be weird as fuck, bro. And yeah, but the chance, like, like I, I, don't, a, I personally just don't get it. It's such a specific thing that would happen. Like, maybe you know, maybe it's that, like a wounding of yours where you can't sleep in bed with another man, which I totally would understand. Yeah. Oh, because I actually, my dad used to make me sleep with him. Not in a weird way, just yeah. like in like being the same bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and like no, and the thing. So now I'm been thrown off a little bit. But, <laughs> but you know, I'm not even <laughs> playing. You give me, yeah, I'm not even playing. No, you yeah. give me money. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a prostitute. <laughs> My dad, because because like I stopped liking him after like literally like not even that long after being alive. Mm-hmm. But to spend time with me, he would pay me money, mm-hmm. and like he would like pay me like to sleep in the bed with him. Wow. But not like sex, bro. Yeah. Did you did y'all cuddle or no? Yeah. But I was like four. Yeah. Yeah. That's not weird. Cuddling with your kid is not weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Cuddling with that, your that, how is cuddling with your kid weird? That's, that's interesting. I, I don't, I don't know, know if it's weird. My dad never did that with me. Yeah. I don't but, think I ever cuddled with my parents, bro. I I mean I think as a baby. You're how old are you? I was like four or five, maybe yeah. six, maybe seven. But maybe, like, I, so I get it. So you have your own wounds, basically, is what you're saying. Yeah, so that's why I don't want to fucking yeah. sleep in the same bed, which I'll... So, because so, yeah, the thing is, is, like, 
<laughs> fair enough. Yes. Yeah, fair, fair enough. No, bro. like if my dad, if I was a prostitute for my dad too, I would. Also <laughs> bro, I didn't fuck him. Cuddle prostitute. I was a prostitute for my dad. All he just years. needed. He was literally just touch deprived. Bro, but cuddle workers real work, bro. No, it is. It is. And I respect you. You know, five dollars per night. Yeah. It probably was great for. And me, my right? rates were really low. Yeah, because like try. five bucks was like builders club for like a month yeah but yeah. basically what i was trying to say is we have a mirror pointing directly at juno's bed apparently that's haunted or something i just really don't like it because like it's just i don't like the reflection it's like directly in the center and it's gonna be dark what if i wake up at like 3 a.m and I look at my own reflection there's something going on and you're on. like holy fuck i gained weight yeah exactly bro <laughs> like i i just had some fast no, but like, food what is it what is the thing where like a mirror is pointing at bed apparently that's bad apparently this is just from tiktok and apparently apparently whatever but apparently if a mirror is pointing at your bed, it's supposed to be a opening to like a demonic dimension or like hell. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if it's hell or just like a spiritual world. That's not my reasoning for it. I, I just don't like it. Like it's just weird. I don't want to see a reflection of myself sleep. Like you know. Yeah, like, I don't yeah, want to know yeah. that there's that. Like, right do you, in front do you have any it. ghost experiences? You know. Yeah. What's yeah, yeah. What's your traumatic mirror in front of bed story? <laughs> it's not. It's not, It's a very. I don't know if it's a ghost story. It's just like a childhood memory. I sometimes think it's a dream because I can't remember if it's like re it's so like mm. strange in my mind like it's very weird but I remember it was I used to live uh closer to Gabagoo. I don't know what that is but um I used to whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, we that's too that close bro show, bro <laughs> yeah he yeah. used to live close to Costa Rica yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. close to clo Costa Rica um and I have this like vivid memory it was like a very um closed off like apartment complex and there's like this uh, playground um area dude it's, i know where this is right? i know where the fuck you're talking yeah, about yeah yeah a house burned down there too like a while ago and like someone died but that's Shit. completely did yeah. you see that the light i did see that that was kind of creepy the light the light turned off behind you Got i'm it. not trolling i wasn't trolling we can look at dude we can re, we can vod review it bro bro you saw me yeah, i saw yeah, that i just that's that. really disturbing <laughs> but um that's so weird. <laughs> what but is it though? Know? It's not weird. It's not weird. It's motion sensor. It's automatic light. Automatic light. Yeah. Automatic light. That's, that's even though that. it didn't turn off before, it just turned off now. <laughs> no, the light bulb died. The light bulb died. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I have this vivid memory. I was like walking alone around this apartment complex, and um, there's like these two bushes that led to like a parking lot in the distance. I remember walking up to it, and I saw like a white shape, like a blur, move through the bushes. Oh, what the fuck! And in my head, I thought it was a like as a child for some reason, I thought it was a wolf. Like, I was mm -hmm. like, that's a wolf in the complex. And I, like, I got scared and ran away and went to my house. Yeah. And then I didn't tell my parents anything. I just, like, went into my room and mm -hmm. hid. That's it. But, like, I don't know. Like, I just don't... I can't really rationalize it in my head. But it's, like, very vivid. Like, I guess I'll see Pumpkin man it. versus wolf. Exactly. <laughs> Who wins in a fight? <laughs> exactly. Like, you just saw a white blur move throughout the bushes. Yeah. Damn. Because I feel like... It was, like, undef... It was just, like, a shape. Yeah. Maybe... Yeah. Did it move the bush? No. So maybe you... So you know those Instagram reels where it's like, stare at this dog. But, yeah, I vividly remember like in my head as a child, like I felt danger when I saw it. Oh, and that's yeah, a... Yeah, that's a, yeah. Like, like a... What's it called? Reflex? Yeah, a reflex. Like, like a survival that. instinct. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I remember seeing it like freezing. Like I felt like my body freeze and then I like I ran just instantly. Like out of instinct. I have... Dude, my... My hairs are like low-key standing. If I had hairs, they'd be standing right now. Yeah. That, <laughs> like, anyways, that's my <laughs> Yeah, mm. geez, bro. But it, like it's a very strange memory in my head. Like I can't remember if it's really happened or if it's just like a dream or some like memory I made up as a child. But I can see it, like walking up to it and seeing it and then yeah, know. the concept of ghosts being white, you know, mm -hmm. if ghosts were real, they're probably not white. I don't know what I mean I don't know what ghosts would look like. You yeah, know. but it's just the, like probability wise. Yeah, yeah. They're probably just people. Yeah. Or just, just see through, bro. Not even see. I mean, like, where where the thing come from that ghosts are see through? I have no idea. Like, probably storytelling or something. Probably just some MF that lied. Yeah, yeah. Some guy that drew it and it was like, yeah, this is it now. Because um, I know people that tell stories and they see ghosts, but it's like a real person that they realize wasn't real later. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like, I'm thinking, get ready to get myth busted. Yeah. Um, so you were staring at the sun for a little bit too long and then like, the, it, like fucked up your vision for like a little bit and then mm -hmm. you saw white. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, myth <laughs> it's, busted. it's possible. It's a possible yeah, chance. It's, it's a possible, possible chance. Cause you know, in the Instagram reels where it's like, stare at the circle and then like you stare at the circle and then you unstare at it and there's like a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah. 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 Or like 
it's it just like a it been like a light thing too like just light oh like yeah. some guy got a magnifying glass yeah. no, i feel like we've all seen shit when we're a kid and then it carries into it like like a ghost like yeah. something like have I you ever see it as a conscious adult though some people do Oh, I, well, that's my other story. Oh, my this God. You have my me. uncle, but it's a longer one. I mean, I can tell it a few. How long is it? it. Uh, like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just say it. Yeah. Condense you, you, it. Yeah. You, um, it's pretty much my uh, uncle works as a uh, director in Korea. He's an assistant director in film. Mm. And uh, he was on a shoot and it was out like in rural Korea, like really like out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So Asians do get haunted. Yeah. And this is like, this is only, like 10 years. This is like, oh, no, this is like in the mid 2000s. Yeah. Um, He was staying at like this random roadside like hotel in the middle of rural Korea. This is where things do, like. Oh God. This yeah. Is, this, this is where shit goes out. This is pre uh, BTS. Yeah. yeah pre BTS. So it's like scary out there. <laughs> yeah. So he was alone in his hotel room, and uh, he said, "Yeah, the entire night he felt like really uneasy, and he was like watching TV, and then he um, uh, kind of yeah, he like drifted off to sleep, and then he uh remembers like waking up in the middle of the night, and then he 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 saw like himself um on the ground in front of his bed." Uh, and then there's this child, this Korean child, pulling him by the hair across ah! the, the, the floor of the bedroom. And he just remembers, like, seeing that. And then he was, like, frozen. Um, and then he, like, yeah, he was he was up all night until the morning. And then he went down to, like, the, uh, I, I'm condensing this a lot. He went yeah. down to, like, the reception of mm-hmm. the hotel. And then he was asking them about, like, the hotel. And then they said, yeah, like, yeah, it's, like, a incredibly, like, haunted area. And guests are always seeing like whoa uh, spirits yeah because th- there are things like this that yeah. i that can't really be explained i feel like even all the stories we've heard today can't really be explained this doll swinging you know i do believe i actually believe like even though these are just emails i believe they're they are telling their truths mm-hmm. you know what i mean i don't know if it's actually happened that way but i believe that they're telling their truths mm-hmm. you know ready to get myth busted yeah <laughs> I feel like this one has a lot of myth bust thing potential. Well, I don't know. I I, I've definitely had scary dreams that I thought were real when I woke up. I think it's sleep paralysis. Oh, yeah. That's a thing. I think that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people have scary sleep paralysis things. It would be like, my mom was walking on all fours. Yeah. I have, oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Fuck, I have another one. Oh, yeah. This is like a recent, actually. This is you, like the last fuck? year. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, me. Um, This is sleep. I think it's sleep paralysis, but it was like really creepy. I remember I was... um. Yeah, I was really tired and I was trying to go to sleep and I was facing my wall away from the rest of my room. Mm-hmm. And then I could, and then I, as this never happened to me before, I could feel myself going into a dream. Like, but I was awake. Like, mm-hmm. I could feel myself sli- slipping into sleep. Yeah. Like, so I was like half frozen. And then I hear like a voice from my room behind me, like yell something, like a what sound. The fuck. And it, it snapped me awake and I like came out of sleep and I was just like back in my room. Oh my God. Yeah. And dude- I, I couldn't go back and sleep after that. Like it was like a human voice screaming at me from my inside my room. Like I'm so lucky that and I could hear it from behind me. me. Like it was so Dude, real. Sleep paralysis is fucking scary. I would yeah. hate to have that happen to me, bro. Like, yeah. like, like people tell me stories of of them waking up and they can't move and there's a like an, a man standing in front of them. Mm. Yeah, and I'm like, what? It's the Nicholas fuck? Cage, yeah. and it's Nick Cage, yeah. bro, Ghost Rider, <laughs> <laughs> and and like that Ghost shit is Ro- so fucking freaky. I could not imagine mm. having, having that happen to me. Like, I'm so lucky that it doesn't happen to me. Like, yeah. yeah, I couldn't handle it. I think I would eventually just off myself if it happened like a lot. Oh yeah, yeah if it pretty, was like a regular yeah. thing. If it was a regular here. thing, I I would probably just not sleep. Yeah, yeah. and then I would just die from like mal <laughs> mal sleepness <laughs> mal sleepness <laughs> like i couldn't Sleep. handle it myself yeah okay well guys i, I do want to say something mm. the real reason why we came here today actually was because derek was telling us that he actually missed his father mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and do we want to do and, this uh, do we want to do this we're gonna try to talk to him yeah we're gonna because try to talk to him today if you've watched talk to me i just watched it on the mm-hmm. plane mm-hmm. This girl, her mom died. Yeah. And she tries to talk to her through spirits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I need some answers. Yeah. I need so, some answers. Guys, we're going to try to speak to Jimmy or whatever his name was. I don't okay, know come name. on, bro. Dude, where's the respect? Jesus, man. <laughs> you think he was a fuck boy? Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy on. or whatever his name was? Come on, bro. You're not- <laughs> I think it's really funny when people like, like, how'd you die? Kill yourself or kill himself, right? And they'll yeah. say like some pussy ass shit. Mm-hmm. Like it's what? 
like what's like a pussy way to kill themselves? I don't know. Like um oh like driving on the highway on the wrong way and like hitting a car. But you're also killing somebody else. Yeah, it's like no, you're like the world's crazy. biggest loser if you do that. Yeah, you're like yeah. I feel like I mean I feel like you. Oh, can what, say what do you that. think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's also killing somebody else in the process. I know, like, like you know, Mick Skillet from YouTube. There was a CS:GO skins YouTuber that did that. Really? And he just like crashed another family. Yeah, and he like yeah. And people flamed him, and he was dead. I mean, <laughs> people spammed his comments like, "You're such a piece of shit." He was dead. Right? Yeah. Okay, so how do we summon your dad, Derek? So what he used to do to me was spank me. So we have to do five spanks on my butt. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. But censor it because people are weird. Bro. Bend over, Derek. <laughs> Guys, I'm just, I'm just, watch just do it like this. I mean, you, over. Just do it like this. You I don't do want people to. You, 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 you can do it on there. Oh, okay. Are you ready? This is happening. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Five spanks. spanks. Wait, what's you... his name? What's his name? I'll con- I'll conjure him while you spank him. Okay. Five spanks. What's his name? Should I do the real name? You think? He's dead. Do you want to drop Jimmy? Jimmy? Jimmy. He's Jimmy. Okay. Okay. Jimmy, we we want to talk to you. Your son is here. His he's being spanked. Jimmy. Come down! <laughs> Come! Come into our hotel room! Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> Come, Jimmy! <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I gotta get a fucking selfie! <laughs> Nico? Nico? J- Jimmy? Dad? Derek! <laughs> Dad? Derek! Is that you? Why you look gay? <laughs> I'm not. Son. You should see my girlfriend. Really? Is she a Chinese good at math? No. What is she? Darker skin. <laughs> oh God, no! Dad. Yeah. What is what is going on? What are these? What are these cameras? I get a photo. I'm a famous YouTuber. Jimmy, I'm gonna get. A no, self- you're not. Jimmy, Jimmy. Get you're a famous self- YouTuber. I'm a famous YouTuber. Now. How many subs? Thirty-three thousand. <laughs> That's not that famous, bro. Son, why aren't you doing math? What happened to you? I just you forced. I didn't like it. Yeah, but 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 even though I even though I killed myself, it didn't mean that you need to do it. Mean that you need to. Stay it back. does. Would you go to Harvard? Yeah, you went to Harvard. Mm-hmm. Why are you lying? I, Who is this? What is you? That's my um, boyfriend. This is, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> fuck! I'm gay. Oh God. Meet me too. Bend back over, son. No, I'm gonna show you what a real gay man experience is. <laughs> You're gay, dad. <laughs> nah, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> You're gay? No, I'm not gay. Why did gay. you do it? What do you mean, why did I why do it? Why did you kill yourself, Dad? You know why I killed myself? Come here, come here. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I fucking killed myself. You want to fucking know why I fucking killed myself? It's so beautiful. Because it was fucking tiring to raise a bullshit YouTube podcaster son like yourself. That's why I fucking killed myself, you little pussy ass bitch. Okay? Okay? Okay, that's why I fucking killed back. myself. Can okay? Nico back? Okay. How do we get Nico back, Juno? Spank no. him! Spank him! Spank this him. is revenge! What are you talking about? Nico. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> Guys, it's 12. <laughs> it's really <nice. laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Stop. Stop, bro. Stop that. Hey, guys, we're going to do some ghost hunting on the Patreon now. Make sure to... Uh... You, guys, you got to get on the Patreon. Yeah, yeah. It's lit. Hey, it's lit. We'll see you all next week. It's lit. It's lit. Beer sauce.